Well, good evening, good people on this hump day, and I hope you're humping or getting over the hump or doing the humpty dance or whatever it is you do on hump day. I hope you're getting it in. We have some da-da-dunt, da-da-dunt breaking news here on the Joe Boo Sports Report per Todd Archer. Um, the Cowboys have hired former Boston College offensive coordinator Steve Simcoe as an offensive assistant. He spent the last four years at BC and worked with the Cowboys, Brian Schottenheimer in Seattle. He replaces Will uh, Herringer, who left for the Carolina Panthers. So we filled in another one of our coaching holes. I'm still waiting, of course, for the Dallas Cowboys to name their passing game coordinator. And I would still think I, 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 it's, it's a long shot, but I would love to see Steve Wilkes there. But anyway, into let, let's go into this a little bit deeper with Steve uh, Skemko, who will be an offensive coordinator assistant to Brian Schottenheimer. Now, interestingly enough, Brian Schottenheimer, a lot of people will think of him more of because of his father, because his father, of course, um, uh, was an incredible coach, Barry Schottenheimer. Um, the only problem was he couldn't win in the playoffs real well. He ended up believing in the running game, which is kind of funny because Brian Schottenheimer is kind of the polar opposite of his dad, where Russell Wilson's best statistical year was under Brian Schottenheimer. Now, Brian Schottenheimer, who is the right-hand man to Mike McCarthy, if you take the playoffs, I know you can't take the playoffs out of the equation, but you look at the sea change in the Dallas Cowboys offense with Brian Schottenheimer and Mike McCarthy calling the plays versus when Kellen Moore was there, that the offense was clearly a lot better than it had been. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. <sighs> been sucking up too much dust. Truckload of gravel that I dumped off the truck and uh, all the brush and stuff and cutting limbs and everything else. So not, it, it just kind of dries you, dries your throat a little bit. Um, but Steve will be, of course, working right with um, Brian Schottenheimer. And actually, I like to think and say that this past year, the first year with Mike McCarthy calling plays and changing from the Kellen Moore, I don't know what you want to call it, offense, to the Texas Toast I'm sorry, Texas Coast offense, that there's always a learning curve to having a new offensive coordinator and a new office offense. And the Cowboys, of course, started off kind of slow. The first four or five games, the offense really was pathetic. But as time went on, they got better and better and better and eventually ended up being one of the better offenses in football. In fact, Dak Prescott having 36 TDs leading the NFL with the uh, lowest interception rate. So welcome aboard Simcoe. He worked, um, let's see, Rutgers 2011-2013, Western Michigan and recruiting operations, then worked at the University of Georgia um, Garden City, offense quarterback, uh, offense coordinator, quarterback coach, and then the Seattle Seahawks, of course, um, as assistant quarterback coach. At Boston College, he started out as the tight ends coach, became the quarterbacks coach, and then the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach. So, welcome to the Dallas Cowboys, and there you have it. You're up to speed with the Dallas Cowboys. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate you guys, and have a good hump day. Peace.